I heard the other day the phrase uh, soft rebuild. And, and I, I was like, I was very interested in that conversation because I started looking at kind of some of the signings y'all have. The Cowboys have their quarterback. They have their receiver. They have a couple other things, but they still have some moves to do. And here they are drafting and, and hoping that in a couple of years those guys are, are going to be able to be there and be there for it. I'm kind of curious what a rebuild actually looks like in your mind and if you think the Cowboys are in the middle of something like a soft rebuild because y'all do have a lot of youth, but a lot of, uh, a lot of veterans to go along with it as well. Yeah, I, I think you've nailed it. You're right on it. How, how do you sustain competitiveness in this system? How do you sustain it? And then how do you uh, have a chance? You're up, quote, up around the rim. How do you have a chance to uh, get in the big game and win it uh, with the Super Bowl? Uh, it's a different stroke if you're dealing and building around a top-tier quarterback. And uh, that's the way that we are. And you've got to really work that problem hard with draft and with young players. And so that when you see games come up that you're counting on young players, uh, you know that that's going to be uh, an opportunity to test the system, so to speak, test us out. And uh, we've got to be able to have some success with young players, just like this weekend. And uh, uh, with the way that we're trying to sustain uh, uh, a chance to go to the Super Bowl. Are y'all for real? Are y'all serious? Y'all can't be this bored. This is what we're doing now. All offseason, we all agreed together. I think there was one thing that every Cowboys fan agreed upon all offseason. And that was the fact that Jerry Jones's mind and age had deteriorated to a point to where he was no longer giving us coherent and clear answers with anything anymore. We all decided we could no longer trust anything coming out of Jerry's mouth because he would get asked very simple questions and his answers would take you all the way on the other side of the globe and you would have no clue what the actual answer to the original question that was asked actually was. Now, all of a sudden, people that are clinging to the idea that the Cowboys are rebuilding, and I'm about to rip that apart in just a second, because when you actually put it on paper, y'all sound stupid when you say this team is rebuilding. The fact of the matter is, the team is underperforming. The fact of the matter is, the team has deficiencies, like all the other teams in the league do. And the fact of the matter is, this team is not rebuilding and we cannot listen to what Jerry is saying and try to twist his words to fit our narrative. Even in that clip preceding this segment, Jerry, yes, he said, you nailed it. I think you're right on the head with it. He was essentially saying that the host nailed the idea of how the Cowboys had to build their team now to remain competitive, which is having a bunch of young guys that have to step up and a couple of veterans that you sign here and there. Jerry was confirming or reaffirming what he already stated earlier this offseason, and that was the Cowboys' mission statement, how they were going to go about building this franchise and what they were going to be comfortable with doing as far as paying certain guys top dollar money and just being able to essentially have to draft around them because you can't afford to make massive splashes when you're paying multiple dudes top of the position money. That's what Jerry was agreeing to. He wasn't saying, oh, yeah, yeah, you hit it right on the head. We're rebuilding right now because that's stupid. And the word rebuild would indicate that you don't have your core in place or you're switching out pieces of your core and you're starting it over. Oh, what about a soft rebuild? What are y'all talking about? Let's get into this, bro, because some of y'all reaching way, way too hard and you're going to spray an AC joint. Relax. Regardless of what everybody wants to make it seem like based off of this clip from the KNC Masterpiece where Jerry is essentially just agreeing with the radio host. And of course the clickbait quote was, yeah, I think you've nailed it. You're right on it. You're right on it as it pertains to how the Cowboys have had to go about building this roster around Dak Prescott, CD Lamb, Micah Parson. They already had that money earmark, Tyler Smith, and the rest of this core, Trevon Diggs. How can you possibly, let me show y'all something. How can you possibly act like you're rebuilding when your quarterback position is secured? Your wide receiver one is secured. Your running back room needs improvement. Your offensive line 
60 plus percent of the offensive line is secure. You have Tyler Smith, you have Tyler Guy, you have Cooper BB. Terrence Steele is kind of iffy, so I'm giving him half credit. We we'll probably won't have Zach Martin after this season, so I'm not counting him. So you need to replace a Zach Martin. Okay, maybe a Terrence Steele as well. But most of your offensive line is secured. Your tight end is secured. So just right now on offense, 80 to 90% of your offensive positions, your starters, are already on this team for next season and the season after that, okay? Your special teams, you got your kicker, your punter, your kick returner, and your punt returner. Your special team is completely good. Your defense, we need help on the defensive line. We probably need maybe one to two more starters on the defensive line, and we probably need some depth pieces, which can be taken up by veteran minimum guys and rookies that you draft in drafts. Your linebackers are secured. You now have Maurice Lewifau, DeMarvion Overshone, and Eric Kendricks is back there as well. Even if Eric Kendricks leaves at the next season, you still have two out of three of your linebacking positions secured. Your cornerbacks, you have Diggs, Bland, and Carson secured. Your safeties, we have Wanye and Izzy sitting behind two guys that are already starting level safeties in the NFL. Secured, but could also be looked at as needs improvement because we're going to be depending on a young guy there at some point. So now tell me how and what, what are the Cowboys actually rebuilt? Don't just get on the internet. Don't just get on your platform and say, oh, Jerry said we're rebuilding. Make it make sense to the audience. Y'all see this? What are we actually rebuilding? If we're rebuilding, what are we rebuilding? I'm sorry. What's the definition of a rebuild? A rebuild in sports is when a team is attempting to establish a new path after a key player or coach leaves or when the team realizes an era is over. The team lowers expectations for the following year and fans don't expect the team to do well. Here are some common steps a team takes during a rebuild. They trade a star player. That hasn't happened. They fire the coach. That hasn't actually happened just yet. Give minutes to younger players. That's happening, but they're not giving minutes to younger players over guys that are actually prepared to play. They're giving minutes to younger players because those are good players that they think are going to be good players in the NFL. They bottom out. A team may bottom out to get a high draft pick to build around. We're two and two. Trade veterans. We ain't traded nobody. How are we rebuilding? Even by definition, the Cowboys are not rebuilding. So why do y'all keep trying to float that idea? We are two and two. What are we talking about, bro? There's nothing about this roster that says rebuild. We're playing young guys. Guess what? Tons of team in the NFL play young guys. The average lifespan of an NFL player's career is four years. So everybody's going to be forced to play young guys. You can look across the league, and there's teams playing young guys in starting positions across the league. This is not specific to the Cowboys, bro. Y'all, oh my gosh. I just, I know I'm hard on our guys when I need to be. I try to be objective and give us objective analysis after games or whatever it may be. And I try to make sure I'm pointing out the issues with this team. But holy crap, to sit here and act like the season's already over and all this other stuff. Yeah, I might do some funny stuff like look up the mock draft or whatever after we get Brandon Cook's injury news. And that's, that's entertainment, bro. But I make it very clear. I still think this team is making the playoffs. This team is going to be in the playoffs. Jerry... And everybody else in the front office all offseason said the goal is to make it further in the playoffs. Even in the clip we just listened to, he was talking about a championship. How are we rebuilding, bro? Y'all, we, st we still them cowboys. I, I got Calling me, texting me, paging me, asking me, am I still the ball? Y'all use the check on me. Listen, 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 listen. I'm still them boys. Hey! Woo, hey! Hey! I'm still them boys. 